Hey, Composite Gloves here, and today we're doing more with dominant seventh chords. Here I've set up some progressions. And so if you remember the property, this is your chance to sort of mess with the property in a little more structured of a format. So it's just like the same as the previous ones we've done. Again, there's a link in the description with all this stuff in the theory workbook, including the answers. So you'll get a blank one with just the note, just the progressions. And I changed a couple of them so that we had a major chord to work with. And all you have to do is build the progression, label the progression, and then simply change one of them to be a dominant seven chord. And when you do that, just observe how your progression has changed. So here I have a G7, right? Before it sounded like this. So we say, okay, it sounds nice. It's, it's resolved. When we finish, we sound like we've finished. And so I said, you know, why not add that F, let's make it a dominant seven chord or just G7. And how how will it sound then? And that you can make an educated guess too. You could say, okay, well, if I do this, you could try and hear it in your head, which is really good practice. Um, if I do this, this is the tonic. And we learned that this is a rather, this is something that pulls somewhere. So uh, I should not sound done when I get here. This will probably sound very undone. It'll be pulling somewhere. It will not want to be done. And so we could, well, let's play it, see if we're correct, right? And so I see it's like, oh, that's that's much less settled. That's very unsettling. And so we are pulling somewhere. So there we go. We found a compositional technique. If we have a phrase that we want it to continue, but it sounds pretty done, toss one of those in there and, oh, you're not done. So that is a pretty cool option. Um, it actually has some special names, and we'll be learning about these names later on down the line. I think that's uh, Harmony 2 stuff, though. Uh, so, okay, here's another one. And so you're just going to build a couple. These are my examples of things that can happen. And you can just come in here and mess with them, change them around. Heck, change the chord progression if you want and just see all the different options you have. You're just putting things in your toolkit. So when you want them for later and you think, oh, what would be a cool thing I could do here or a more compelling phrase, this is stuff you could try out. You could try tossing in a seven. You've already done this with major sevens and minor sevens. And now you're tossing in dominant sevens that could allow you to shift to a new key and take advantage of new major minor sevens so we can get a little more complicated. Um, I think I, whoops, that was kind of slurred. I think I just stuck to major sevens in here, which I did. And yeah, so you can go ahead, try it out and just listen to the quality differences that happen. That's that. If you have any insightful insights, drop your insights in the insight section down below. Subscribe and have a blessed day.